today i'm going to teach you how to design an envelope like the one that is just showing on the screen so i'm going to take you through how to go about it so I'll first of all select my paper so selecting the paper i'll click on international paper you can also take custom size but usually it's international paper that i use after that i go to size so the size of international paper that i'm going to use is the dl so i'm going to use the dl for my envelope after that i click on ok so if you are using adobe photoshop cc 2018 uh, 2020 2021 2023 and other stuff you can use the custom size to take the size of your envelope so that one you can go by the size the width to be 8.5 and the height to be 4.5 that one is cool or you can even take it 9 by 4.5 so here the next thing that i'll do is to create a rectangular shape then change the color by going to properties so i'm taking the orange color after that click on the move to so the moment you click on the move to you will see the transformation so the transformation will show then you try to curve your cursor so the moment you try to curve your cursor you will see some nets at the menu bar you see nets and what cancel and continue or okay so you click on the net then you try to bend or curve your rectangular shape that you drew if you don't curve your cursor there is no way that net or that okay will show on your menu bar going to draw another rectangular shape So here, what I'm going to do is to carry my logo onto my workspace. But before that, let me change the color for the second rectangular shape that I just drew. Let me curve it just like what I did for the other one.
so here i'm going to take my logo Okay, so let me carry this one. So I'm carrying this one onto my workspace. After that, I reduce, minimize the size. Okay, no need to change the background. So I'm going to minimize the size. So I'll rasterize the logo. Then minimize the size I rasterize it because I'm going to remove the background around it here you could see that it has blend with the white background so you you can see it that is why I'm taking it to the orange color I say here you could see there is a white background around it so here I'm going to use the magic one tool to remove the background yeah someone was asking me how to use the magic one to so the moment you click on that white background it will automatically select the other ones then you press on the backspace button to delete it after that you press on what control D So here at this point I'm going to skip a little bit. I'm going to type the name of the church and some other details.
so here i'm changing the color and also set for the stroke and i'll click on the texture as well Oh yeah, I'm typing the name by using Time New Roman. That is what I'm using from then type Gamma Cities. So you input your name and the amount. Hmm. So at this point, I'm drawing another rectangular shape. But here, yeah, I'll be importing the team and the aim for the envelope. What we are going to use the envelope for, and the team that we will base on to harvest. So, what I'm going to do is to enlarge the rectangular shape small. So, as I'm moving it up, I'm going to enlarge it small. Okay, this one is cool. After that, I click on OK. Then, go to where my layers are. Then, what? Rasterize it. Anytime you want to find any of your layer here, you could see that what when I was looking for my layer, I went to where the layers are, and the name for that layer is what rectangle four, meaning I have drew what four rectangles, and this is the fourth one. So if you are looking for the third one, you just go to where your layers are, then what look for the one which is what rectangle three then click on it and if it is what below 
or if you are not seeing that layer over there after you have drew it the moment you click on it then you click on the control key then the bracket sign you keep pressing it until it appear on the top of other layers oh yeah i have duplicated my layer and as i said earlier on to duplicate your layer you press on you click on the layer then you click on ctrl j and your layer will be duplicated after that you move your duplicated layer so yeah i'm going to input my details i just keep the process and the team for our harvest is what i will build my church that is the team and what we are going to use that envelope the money that we get from the envelope for all the harvest is to what aid of what church building and we are using that to what create our team that i will build my what church that is the team So yeah, anytime you want to make any editing on your any layer that you create, you need to rasterize it first. And yet yeah, they said what I can't what make any complete what request because my content hasn't been what edited. So then what I click on that rectangle file. So as I said earlier on, this is the what fifth rectangular shape that i just drew so if you draw it and you are not seeing it over there just go to where your layers are then we set for what rectangle five and you see it over there so the moment you click on it you watch click on control watch bracket close you keep pressing it until what it move above the other layers this is the situation whereby you are off. Drill the shape, but you are not seeing it over there, which means that the rectangular shape that you just drew is below the other layers. The other layers are overlaying it. That is why you are not seeing it over there. So if you want it to move forward, you just click on that layer, then you press on control bracket open. I'm keeping I just keep repeating it because some people have been asking me that they can't find some of their layers and sometimes it used to disappear and blah blah blah. So if you are not seeing them, just go by what I said. So at this point to I'll duplicate my layers then enlarge it then input my details over here so from here you can input any details you want but I will show you how you should go about it you need to bring the reverend minister then the prophets 
and their contact so that is the head pastor then what the chest secretary so these are the three people you need to bring on the envelope the founder of the church if it is a orthodox church you need to bring the fetish priest so you need to bring the priest or the one who hosts it then you bring the head pastor then the secretary so these are the three people you need to bring on your envelope At this point, I'm going to carry a picture which shows that someone is roofing a house after that. Carry it onto my workspace. Then rasterize it. So after rasterizing it, I will click on the marking tool to crop the image so after using the marking tool to crop the image i'll go to select so i'll go to a menu bar then click on select after that i click on invest then click on the bad space button then press on ctrl d So yeah, I'm going to minimize the image size. So since I have rasterized it, I don't need to rasterize it again. I can make any editing on that. And here I want to put my image below the other image. So here you could see that what my layer was what just going down. So to do that, you hold on the control key, then you press on the bracket open sign. You keep on pressing it until it falls below the other layers. So here, yeah, what I'm going to do next is to use the, the brush tool. So I will click on the white layer to click on it you alt click you click on the alt key then you right click it to select the white background that you want to use to brush your image so i'm using the white color to brush it so to uh, here you could see that i have what alt click it then you what use the brush to to brush the image so that is how i went about it so here you alt click then you continue on to brush then click on the move to so here yeah, what i'm going to do next is to carry my full stop 
onto my workspace so i'm going to look for the full stack so i'm taking this i'm taking this full stack onto my workspace then what click on what enter key after that you rasterize it so here i'm not seeing the layer so here is it then you rasterize it to rasterize it you right click on it then what use the magic one to to what select the white background i'll run the free star then press on the backspace button then what press on what control d to remove the what transformation or the transform controls around it so that i reduce the what the size of the full staff okay so that is how i went about it so we have finally arrived at how we design an envelope please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel to get more from arrival graphics see you in our next video bye